Hi, my name is Tim Autry and I am the founder and CEO of the Practicing Perfection Institute and the executive director of the International Not-for-Profit Human Performance Association. I've spent the majority of my professional life helping individuals and organizations prevent human error and I have a confession to make. Until a few days ago, I had not put together this whole Ebola virus situation with human error. A few days ago, one of our team members brought an article to my attention that had been written by Stephen Novella. Uh, the title of the article is Ebola and Human Error. Now, as you're probably aware, a guy by the name of Thomas Duncan was exposed in Liberia, flew into the United States, subsequently died from the Ebola virus in a Texas hospital. You're probably also aware that one of the nurses that was treating Duncan has also been diagnosed as being infected with the Ebola virus. Undoubtedly, in this hospital situation, some level of human error was involved in that nurse becoming infected. So what are the latest statistics on the Ebola virus? Well, according to the CDC, and these are statistics from West Africa, there are total cases of 9,216 that have been documented at this point. Lab confirmed cases are up to 4,218 and total number of deaths attributed to the Ebola virus in West Africa are now up to 4,555. You know, if we think about the virus itself a little bit, the incubation period for the virus is anywhere from two to three days to about three weeks. Symptoms of the virus are very similar to those for a cold or the flu, and once an individual shows the symptoms, they are contagious. All this is going on while planes are continuing to fly from everywhere to everywhere. Should we be concerned about this? Well, the government in the United States is telling us, ah, don't worry about it. Interestingly enough, they just recently appointed a czar to handle the Ebola situation. But you know, I've always felt in any set of circumstances, what I want to do is I want to educate myself, I want to make up my own mind, and I want to respond to circumstances rather than react to them. You know, on Fox News a couple of nights ago, Dr. David Samadhi put it this way. He says, everything starts with one case, now we have two. Well, since that show aired on Fox News, a second nurse has been diagnosed with the Ebola virus and potentially a boyfriend of one of the nurses. So it started with one case and then we had two and now we potentially have four. So within the Practicing Perfection Institute and the association, we put our heads together and we said, what can we do to help be part of a proactive solution in light of everything that's going on with this. And here's what we decided to do. First of all, if you are a medical professional, we have developed a very simple set of medical error elimination tools. In other words, how to prevent human error in the medical environment. Now, I am very well aware that hospitals are very high stress, high activity, um, very dynamic organizations with all kinds of activity going on all the time. I'm also aware that there are lots of protocols for how to keep yourself from being infected and how to prevent the spread of contamination provided by the CDC, provided by the Joint Commission, provided by your hospital organization itself. So when those protocols don't work, most likely human error is involved and that's exactly what these medical error elimination tools are designed to attack. As a matter of fact, I would go so far as to say that if you as a medical professional were to use these tools uncompromisingly in your day-to-day -day work, you virtually eliminate your potential for making a mistake. We have a supply of these on hand, and in light of the situation, what we have decided to do is we will send a free copy of this tool's handbook to any medical professional that requests it. All you need to do is go to the uh, use the box below this video, depending upon where you're watching it, or go to the website that's on the screen, request your copy, and we'll get it right out to you. Now, whether or not you're a medical professional, one of the other things we put together is we, we did some research inside of the Human Performance Association, and we put together a document entitled, Seven Simple Steps for Helping to Protect You and Your Family in light of the Ebola situation or in any situation. And here's what I'd recommend you do. Again, you can use the link below this video or go to the website indicated on the video. It's a downloadable uh, copy. You can download it, print it out. I recommend you download it, go get it. Download it right now and make a bunch of copies. Put it on your refrigerator, put it by your desk, take it to work with you, put it in your cubicle or your office. Heck, it would be really be cool if you printed out a whole bunch of copies of this and tomorrow morning when all your coworkers come in, every one of them has a copy of this document sitting on their desk waiting for them. That's how you can help be part of the proactive solution right along with us. 
The other thing you can do, of course, is take advantage of your social networks, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you happen to be involved in. I mean, send this information to as much people or as many people as you can think of. Help this thing to go viral. Let's use a, a viral opportunity to help fight a virus. I think that would be a very awesome thing to do. So, I want to thank you for taking a few moments to watch this video. I'm Tim Autry, and on behalf of the Practicing Perfection Institute and the Human Performance Association, I wish you protection from disease, exceptionally good health, and freedom from human error. Thanks a bunch.